Hello students of music theory and sight singing. Today we're going to start looking at compound meter in music. So compound meters are meters that imply two different meters at the same time. So let's take a look at a very um, common uh, compound meter and that is your 6-8 time signature. The top number tells you there'll be six beats in a measure and the bottom number tells you what the beat will be. So eight refers to eighth note, and here are your eighth notes. So this measure has six eighth notes per measure. Let's identify them. Here's beat one. Here's beat two. These are eighth note pulses. Here's pulse three. Here's pulse four, five, and six. Let's look at the next measure. A dotted quarter note gets how many eighth notes? Well, two eighth notes fit into the space of one quarter note, so one dotted quarter note is one and a half beats long. So how many eighth notes fit into one and a half beats? Three eighth notes. So here's beat one, two, three. Here's the fourth beat. The eighth rest is the fifth beat, and the sixth beat is, beat is the last eighth note. Again, these pulses or beats are eighth note pulses in 6-8 time. Now, we had said that compound meters imply two different time signatures at the same time, or, or uh, pulses. So the what's referred to as the microbeat is a six beat microbeat measure, but there are two larger beats that are your dotted quarter note pulses. And those will happen on beat one and four. So in essence, what you'll be feeling is an overarching feeling of one and two, one and two, two beats per measure. So the micro beat, the smaller pulse pattern will be six, but the macro beat, the larger pulse pattern will be felt in two. Let's take a look at this in performance now. Let's take a look at our treble clef, key signature, four flats. What key has four flats? Notice how the entire melody has no sharps or flats. Notice how there's an A flat here, an A flat here, an A flat here, an A flat here, and another A flat here. These are all strong indicators that the melody is in the key of A flat major. Remember, look for long tones, look for leaps up a fourth to the tonic tone, look for skips in the tonic triad, look for arrivals at the dominant, and look for ending of phrases that end, end on the tonic. Once again, six eighth notes per measure, but the, micro, the macro beat is in two. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now let's play a little bit of these phrases and start appending the solfege syllables to them. So this is Sol, do, re, mi, re, do, do, right? So you re-articulate this note. This is not a tie, this is a slur. Let's look at it again. Sol, do, re, mi, re, do, do. Sol, la, la, sol, 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 la, la, sol. From here. So la la so 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 la la so. Now I will tap and click the subdivision of the eighth notes. So do re mi re do do. So la la so 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 la la so. Okay. Here. We have a rest on beat five. We have a sol do leap again with a very similar melody as the opening. And I'm looking forward to hearing your work on this, students. We're in compound meter, six, eight time, 
A flat major. Looking forward to hearing your work.